And it's not just Friday. It is billion dollar dream Friday. Yeah, as we were saying, the Mega Millions lottery drawing tonight surpasses that billion dollar Powerball a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, but with such big jackpots back to back, are people just getting tired of playing and it, it becomes white noise? Yeah. Well, new this morning, John Shumway took that question to the Pennsylvania lottery. Yeah, and you know, some time ago, they changed the Powerball and the Mega Millions in order to increase the odds and to drive the jackpots higher. Well, that's working, but it's not all good. When it comes to the lottery jackpots, what is your wow level? It drives us nuts in the lottery business, but people don't talk about a $100 million jackpot. Like, it's not a lot of money. Regulars will always play, but it's the casual players that fuel lottery fever. And Pennsylvania Lottery Executive Director Drew Svitko says these days, that doesn't kick in until really over $300 million. We start to see a pretty significant increase in sales, which just keeps growing the, the bigger that jackpot. But the previously rarely attained billion dollar jackpot is getting more frequent. There's this thing in the lottery industry we call jackpot fatigue, and that's the more times people see a specific number, the less exciting it'll be. So every billion dollar jackpot that we see, um, People are a little less excited about it. That's not to say that the dreamers aren't out there ahead of tonight's drawing. We're selling right now about 900 tickets a minute statewide, uh, which is, you know, adds up to be tens of millions of dollars just between draws. If you win, everyone will know. We're required by law to, um, to release the name of the claimant and uh, hometown and the amount one. And first in line for a cut? We're required to withhold 25% um, federal taxes and then there's 3% state taxes. Now, while the big jackpot is mega great for the lottery's bottom line and the programs that it benefits, Fitco actually would like to see a winner, preferably a winner in Pennsylvania. Absolutely, that would be exciting. Uh, I'm yeah. mentally picturing Westmoreland County. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, but, really? <laughs> but anyway, between the drawings, they're bringing in tens of millions of dollars. But what about when the jackpots are less than a hundred million? What are they bringing in then? Well, then they're only bringing in single-digit millions of dollars for each drawing. It's all relative. Yeah. By the way, I live in Westmoreland County, so maybe it's me. Oh, you have to share. Give you remember your colleagues, of and friends. Let's all pool of money and have Erica. <laughs> If she's not here on Monday, we know something's up. We're going to go looking for her. Okay, we will. All right, thanks, John. <laughs>